I mean, if you play in a cover band that plays live in bars and stuff, then you should just try to be as close to the original as you possibly can. If you're going to record it on an album by your band, then keep it as close to your band as possible as if you wrote the song yourself and how you would have played it or or infuse it with something else that's that's my favorite way of, of, of doing uh covers because like back in the day like in the 70s for example it was like it was bands that did a lot of covers nazareth for example they great covers but they don't really sound very much like the originals uh Manfred Mann's Earth Band was another one, and if you listen to, I mean, one of their biggest hits was uh, a song For You, which is a Springsteen song. But that first, like, the, that keyboard intro and everything, and which is like the chorus of the song. Now I went back and listened to the original, which is from the first Springsteen album, and that part isn't even there. It's, I mean, to some people, I guess, sacrilege, but that's taking a song to a new level. One of my favorite covers ever, was the first Cardigans album. They, uh, they did a version of Sabbath by the Sabbath, which is, I was just like, I'd never thought of like people, like you can actually take a song that's that heavy and just turn it into sort of like cocktail music like they did and still retain like the soul of the song. I think that's great. Well, I think it's because we're a bit like you, like, it's not only rock and roll all night. It'd be, you know, quite the opposite. If we could never hear that song again, we would be happy. I mean, but then again, we might go deeper into other albums. And The Elder, I mean, when that came out, I thought it was great. I thought it was strange, but I thought it was great. And for a metal band, that would be the most obvious song on that. But that was a, that was a very last minute thing. So with that one, we didn't really have much time to sort of like change. We came up with the idea in the studio and we just basically recorded it because we needed have some bonus tracks and things so so yeah but I mean it's it's a song that I think that I think people need to hear more and the, and the weird thing about like when we do record covers today you know people might put it up on YouTube or people might do like a, they do like a guitar cover of and it said might say like the oath by Arch Enemy and it's like they, they might not even be aware that it is a cover which was the case with me and you know like Nasser, it's like this fight tonight. I mean, I had no idea it was a cover when I was little. There was a Central Media like anniversary album where there was like Central Media artists play Central Media bands, and I think we tried uh, with um, might have been Seven Tongues of God with uh, um, Nevermore. But when we sat down, it's like, oh, this is going to take too much time. This is too complicated. So we did, uh, so we did the Book of Heavy Metal instead, Dream Evils, and they uh, answered by doing one of our songs. 